Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to a new movie. Today I'm going to watch American Made, which is another Patreon request. So I haven't been uploading a lot of TV show reactions right now. Uh, maybe people who watched my last episode of The Mandalorian know why. I am right now in the middle of my graduation process. Um, I had to make a movie, my graduation movie, because I'm a film student. Um, and I just finished it last week. It was so much fun. So much work and stress, but so much fun. Talking about that, if you still want to donate for my graduation movie, that is still possible. I already got like 2000 euros through my GoFundMe and I am so grateful to everyone who donated. It really means a lot. Like you guys made it possible. But during the shooting days, we got a lot of unexpected costs. And um, yeah, now we went very much over budget so that's why i made the gofundme go a little higher uh, so if you still want to donate that is still possible the link is in the description and also probably in the comments the movie has to be done at june 15 that's my graduation date so till then i'll let the gofundme online because uh, there's still like a lot of cost through the editing process um so yeah if you still want to donate it's uh, mostly going to the editing and color grading costs right now also poster making there's a lot of extra costs we got now right now uh, so like I said, if you still want to donate, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, with that said, uh, let's watch this movie. Right now I'm doing the Patreon requests uh, mostly and for the rest I'm just working on my graduation movie. Uh, once I graduate, I will start the new shows coming out, The Walking Dead, um, The Witcher, I think. So then I'll start doing TV shows again. For now, I just don't have a lot of time, so just so you all know. Enough talking about this, I'm going to watch the movie. All I know about the movie is that it's an action movie, I think, and comedy, and it has Tom Cruise in it. Overall, these are things which would not make me watch the movie. <laughs> like, these are not my genres. I don't have a lot with Tom Cruise, but like, the ratings on the movie work quite okay, so... I'm just gonna check it out and who knows, I might like it. I mean, there have been a lot of requests where I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. And then in the end, I was like, okay, this was a really good movie. So uh, yeah, let's just check it out. You never know what you think of it. So uh, let's watch it. Okay. Vibes. Is this part of the movie already? Oh yeah, this part of the movie. That was a, an interesting way of starting the movie. Based on a true story, oh. <laughs> Honestly, if, if the, the masks would already come out, I would shit my pants already. I'd be like, oh fuck, we're crashing. <laughs> Welcome to Vancouver. Welcome to Bakersfield. Welcome to Denver. Being a pilot seems like a pretty fun job, but like, you're away from home quite a lot, I think. I feel like that would be a lot of fun in the beginning, but after like, years, you're like, I just want to chill at home. I don't know. I mean, it's a good job though, so... Very. Creepy. Oh! Donald Gleason. Love him. Forgot he was in this. I saw it, but I forgot. We're going places. What's going on here? And we could use someone like you. You're CIA. Shh. <laughs> Anyone finds out about it, uh, family, friends, even uh, Lucy. It's Lucy, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That'd be a problem. Oh, this is legal? If you're doing it for the good guys? <laughs> yeah. Just don't get caught. <laughs> you want to take it for a spin? Fuck it, take her for a fucking no. spin. <laughs> it still feels kind of shady, but okay. Why is Tom Cruise always doing movies with plates, though? Honest question. It's gonna be my business. Okay. Like you are a TWA airline pilot. That's how you support this family. Independent aviation consultants. Well, that sounds fucking made up, Barry. I feel like in the beginning of the movie, they really try to make us feel like. Oh, he really hates this job and it's getting too much because they made the the one scene where he was like, welcome here and welcome here, welcome back here or something like that. And But to me, it doesn't seem like he really hates this job or anything. Is he just gonna... Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. He's gonna do a vlog about his whole journey. Now. 
Oh yeah, this seems so much better than your old job. These pictures are sensation. I mean, the job does seem like a bit more exciting, but also don't know if I'd want to risk my life like this. <laughs> I have to say, I, I think the movie is made in an interesting way. Like the random vlog shots in between, just like the, the map they showed, which they drew, I think. Like the animated map, just... Oh, okay, now he's getting a child, I guess. Oh, you already had a kid, right? Yeah. I am gonna need some more money at some point. You'll figure it out. Uh, <clears throat> we're heading to Panama tomorrow. The CIA was so happy with my work, they gave me another job. Oh, bag man. Oh, was that a new baby? Because I just saw a really young baby. A new baby. Like, you can just buy them at the store. Gasolina. See? In the car. <laughs> this movie feels so random, but the vibe it has something. Aviation company here yes. in South America. Is it AIC or is it CIA? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just a businessman here, and you could help us. You know the routes. Oh, I first thought they were like really mad at him or something and I was like, yeah, this is not gonna turn out well, but everyone's just offering him new jobs. <laughs> we decided to try new idea to pay you $2,000 per kilo. But that's not legal anymore. Yeah, I mean, Donald Gleason said like, you'll figure it out, so maybe this is his way of figuring it out. I am Chet Charles' names. Jorge Ocho, Carlos Lair, Pablo Escobar. Oh. A couple of billion dollars from now. Oh. <laughs> the Medellin cartel. They're just three businessmen trying to figure out how to get their merchandise to the United States. Can you make the rope way longer? Oigan a este bobón. El avión también. Que no piensas. I love how at first, um, when Donald Gleason's character asked him like, um, or like he asked him like, is this legal? And he was so worried about that and now they're like, yeah, you want to ship cocaine for us? And he's like, yeah, sure, I didn't catch your name, let's go. What do you mean you're not gonna land for one? Okay. Is he just gonna throw it out? That is not a very long runway, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If only his wife knew what he was doing there, everywhere. That's fine, more 14 when shells help come. You can disregard. Yeah, I thought he was gonna do that, yeah. That is pretty smart. Like, as long as you don't land, they can't really, like, check you. And back there. Okay. I wonder for how long this is gonna go well. Cheers. Cheers. This is what I think. Well, for you. You want me to go, he wants me to go again on Wednesday. Yes. Mm. That honestly feels like a thing. Well, first of all, you shouldn't do, but if you do it only once <laughs> and then don't think you're that lucky that it's gonna work again. Like, if you keep doing it, you're gonna get in trouble. But mostly if you do it once and it works, then you wanna do it again. People get greedy. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, that is what you, you got yourself into. Oh my god. 
terrible. You're missing a tooth? Yeah. It's a fucking... See, what's that here? You're not CIA. You're a drug smuggler, Barry. They're gonna raid your house at 6 a.m. They're gonna pick up Lucy, bring her in for questioning. Maybe we can figure something out. You can, you can stop now if you want, because... Believe me, shit gets crazy from here. I like that he's telling it in between. Like, I keep forgetting that it's happening, but then it's, it happens again. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, that's kind of fun. Not for me. There's a new sheriff in town. My fellow Americans, I must speak to you tonight about a mounting danger in Central America. I still love Ronnie Ray. Yeah, they we do not the, stand. Uh, no. With more than just Morning rain on my family. That's off now, right? No, no, that's, uh, that's still happening. I suggest you get your family out of Louisiana. Well, where am I supposed to take them? Meet them. So we get these dresses and... Do you, uh... <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I think your only way out of it is just telling what actually happened. So she'll be like, okay, fair. She might leave you, but. <laughs> Lovely town we're moving to. They got barbecue. Got a lot of charm. Sure. I mean, it looks like a pretty cute place in the woods, but I don't know if I'd want to live there. Oh my god, it looks like the house where we filmed my horror movie. That's an easy fix. <laughs> shady, again. Yeah. That's like his whole role in this movie, being shady. She might leave me before I get back. I mean, fair. <laughs> this? is all yours, including everything between here and your house. 2,000 acres. This whole airport? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> they just gave him an airport? Okay, sure. The way this man keeps getting himself in trouble, but he gets more back for it or something. AK-47s. <laughs> what is he gonna need them for? You're gonna fly him to Nicaragua. Ah. This was the deal, or would you rather be in a Colombian prison? Yeah, I feel like now they can maybe do, make him do anything they want because they got him out of there. Is that the money? This airplane's mine. Bag is mine. What bag? Right, okay. Thought the water didn't work. Now I hear a shower. It's the sink, it's just a bag. Oh, okay. Oh, it was just a sink. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. You going to prison? No, ma'am. That will take the kids. I will go right back to working for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Very, I am six months pregnant. Stop. Another I'm baby. Pregnant. Ew. Fucking washing machine. That's very unnecessary. You could have just shown her the money. <laughs> just trying to flex. Washing machine there. This there. This there. <laughs> What was that, Luke? I'm here on behalf of Uncle Sam. <laughs> okay, okay. Just keep delivering. Hola. <laughs> Just some backup. These are gifts. The way you have to treat them like a bunch of savages because I mean that's basically what they are just jumping at him beating him up for sunglasses and boots but like the only way to get them calm is to give them stuff I guess uh, Dude and everybody's happy. What was I gonna do? I'm just a green girl who always delivers. And I dump it all in the swamps of Louisiana. The way he's still doing it, I really wouldn't so have good. expected him to do it again. Stan Mason flew dope from Mexico to Arizona. Then there's Bob. Uh, I called these boys my snowbirds. We can fly. I really love the maps. 
I really wouldn't want to be the person to pick them all up. How's it going down there? Oh yeah, busy. What's going on here? We're setting up a field and operational training ground. A mine? Yeah. Is that a problem? Whatever you need, boss. I mean, they basically gave you the land for free. Oh my god. I guess they're truly desperate. 2,000 acres from the airport to a cheetah. What's he want with all that this land? You're doing none of our business, really. I mean, you are the sheriff, right? Doing a lot for the community. I feel like this would have been the easiest town to live in because the sheriff is just like, sure, whatever. I'd like to open a bank account. Oh, bless you. That's real. Would you like her? I do. She's yours. She's mine? Something extra in there, dude. Me, <laughs> okay. Okay. You need to be here. They're doing pretty well. Too, but the money was coming in faster than I could want. <laughs> oh my god. I was taking pictures, delivering guns. Honestly, it's all like nice that you're making so much money, but it seems like he's working non-stop. Like, what are you even gonna do with the money? Great parties. <laughs> 10 million to meet a national. 12 million to meet a Okay, sure, while well flying. 15, I mean, I guess that's why I have autopilot. Four buried the woods behind my house, 90 pounds of gold in my closet. What did you even need all of that for? Damn. Uh, JB? What? <laughs> oh. Every goddamn inch of the hey, parking lot. Hey, I'm sorry. Fucking paycheck, man. Hey, JB. You are getting a job, JV, not a handout. My brother's getting a job, Barry. <laughs> You're getting a job. But I don't think Barry wants him living there. What is it I'll be doing exactly? <laughs> Damn, business is booming. It's just burying all the money. Is that why you got all the land? Like at this point, what are you even doing with the money? Oh my god. We were running out of places to put it. I mean, I feel like it's not hard to find money around there if it's literally buried everywhere. Isn't Barry 15 as well? It doesn't look that old. At this point, you can just give people money. I mean, it's everywhere. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? I keep saying it, but what are you gonna do with all that money? But I mean, of course, if he's stealing it, then it's not good. Son of a bitch. Bill's asleep. Oh my god. Is it? He's not dead, is he? Oh, okay. Imagine. Yeah, I mean, he is gonna get in trouble somehow. This movie's not done yet. Everything is going a bit too well, I think. Make me my own vault. Main vault. I mean, it was about time to make something like that because it was everywhere. Uh oh. <laughs> Where is the money? This is the United States Damn. I mean, they said land. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. You can leave land on the street, but like if there's a car, what the fuck? Right in someone's backyard. It's your yard. Something extra for your sister. Hey, little darling. I mean, you can land in my garden if you want. <laughs> you never saw me. <laughs> that is so funny. 
plane crash in Louisiana with 200 kilos of Colombian powder. Is that your boy? The fucking DEA now? <laughs> I got it. I wasn't the only one having trouble with the DEA. Thanks to Pablo Escobar's unique management style, the cartel found themselves kicked out of Colombia. The only place the DEA couldn't touch him? That's right, Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> My exact same reaction. Is he gonna be the reason he's gonna get caught? Like, is GB the reason? Oh my god, this guy is so dumb. Stop running! kilos, yeah, at first at 300 he was like, no more, and I was like, 1500? Get it fucking done. JB, just hold on. Okay. He is such a moron. Why would you walk around with a suitcase full of money? Why? There was no reason for him to get caught. Listen to me. We'll handle it. We're good, man. I can't fix this. Yeah? I didn't say anything, man. You can talk to the goddamn lawyer. I fucking can't. Yeah, but you're stupid as hell. What family? Besides a passport, first class ticket to Bora Bora, enough cash. Enough cash to make a damn good life for yourself. Yeah, I hear you. I feel like you got out of it pretty well like that. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna send you a goddamn address, okay, babe? You're gonna stop sending me cash. I'm a fucking regular. Fuck you, man. Fuck you and my consistent. You're the one who fucked up. Money every week, asshole. I guess they did take care of him. Yeah. They said, yeah, we know all about it. We'll take care of it. And I was like, mm, what does that mean? But honestly, I already didn't really understand why. Um, he was acting like that when he got into the car, like, I want money every fucking week and fuck you and my con sister. Like, you know, they might as well, they could have just killed him to, like, get rid of him. Now, I don't think Barry was behind any of this. I'm kind of sure it was the other guys. But, like, yeah, he's not that smart. I wonder how his wife is going to react. Don't worry about JB. What if he talk, man? He ain't gonna. Yeah, but what if he does? How do you know? I'm fucking positive. Honestly, I feel kind of bad for him because he was just a stupid child, honestly. But it is better this way because he was going to talk at some point. And especially because in the end he was threatening Barry, I'm like, honestly, fuck you. I feel like if he hadn't done that in the end, I would be more sad about his dad. Shaper? Hey, Shaper. Who the fuck's Shaper? Everybody gets a bird bag into it. You put anything with Barry Seal's face or name on it. Oh my god. Come on, boys, we gotta move. Oh my god. We gotta get all this stuff out of here. We gotta move all of it. Where are we supposed to put all this stuff? Anything with the words Nina, fuel bills, memos, anything. Like that, anything which can link us with him. You put it in the bird bag. Drop the fucking box, shithead! Guns down! Guns down! DEA, alright? This is our color. <laughs> they all got him at the same time. Right, yeah. There was no escaping this, I guess. Tell him. You know who I am, Mr. Seal? I'm Dana Sibo. D E A, A T F, F B I, I don't want them. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of here. I'm gonna walk out of here. There ain't a damn thing any money you can do about it. What did they do? Do it. Now he's free to go, boys. What the hell do you mean he's free to go? He's free to go. Free to go. What happened? I'll be seeing you, Seal. Ma'am. That's Schaefer sent you, right? Who the fuck is Schaefer? <laughs> I 
Oh. Usually I talk with you from my office in the West Wing of the White House, but I hate him. Say yes to your life. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, just say no. <laughs> but like, why is he there? Now, you may be wondering why my ass wasn't in jail. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering this is about disgusting. that. Yeah. This fella here is with the DEA. The DEA just wants to nail the Medane cartel once and for all. Now, at the uh, same time, why am I in the room? Because I'm the gringo who always delivers. But that is hella guys. dangerous. If this is your only way of getting out of there, but it also... I don't know, you're backstabbing them. And yeah. I mean, they did kill his brother-in-law. And of course, <clears throat> they're the bad people but i feel like he always worked with them like pretty well and they were friendly i think so <laughs> this is such a backstab you have two more cameras above each door you just press this button to take a picture that's it let's go when the guys are standing here holding the powder listen what's gonna happen with these photos i mean i would not want to do that we do recognize the dangers involved here Now you don't. Well, you can always tell us to fuck off and spend the next 30 years in Leavenworth. But you have to tell you where. Yeah, it's either that or doing this job, <laughs> I guess. Do they even know what's going on? Probably not. That is a big water bottle or whatever that was. They're going to torture us. Tongues out to our necks. I ain't helping Pete. Come on, no. Keep our shit together. Hola! Mm. <laughs> they know what's going on. Just a joke. That is a good one. You were lying. Remember that. Remember. Crazy people. Even if you do this and if it works and you get yourself like out of prison, I feel like you're still gonna be in danger. These people don't easily forgive. Yeah, you know I'm gonna have to get you back. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this is actually working. I really fear for them for a moment. Very still, very still. He's a goddamn genius. Oh, cute dog. Two cute dogs. Oh, dogs. In this picture, secretly taken in a military airfield. Fuck! Get your fucking face buried. This is. You boys fuck me good. Those photos weren't supposed to be released. And certainly not until we had the Colombians in custody. Yeah. You knew the risks when you took those pictures. But like, you promised that they would get caught. Go get some ice cream. You gotta put on all your jewelry. All your rings. If you're wearing it, they can't take it away from you. It's insurance for you and your kids. Sure enough, they came. And they took it all. <laughs> I ain't doing this. This, this, no. this. <laughs> Instantly grab it. Girl! Trust me. You trust me, right? Fuck no. How can we have a war on drugs when the biggest enemy of the state is being protected by our side? And then you are sentenced to 1,000 hours community service. Okay. No jail then? Community service? <laughs> okay. Hey, Don. You tend to leave before I look. Excuse me, uh, sir, ma'am. Uh, if you don't mind moving out of the way, I'm just gonna start my car. Mm. Yeah, you know what happened to Jibby? Oh, I would hate that, having to. Thank you. Just start my car. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. <sighs> 
different motel every day. Just for the safety of the children. <laughs> Thank you. You're 36. How long does it have to go on like that? Is that... Oh, that's multiple people. Okay, yeah, fuck. She gets read the biggest drug cartel this world's ever seen. DEA, <laughs> CIA, White House. You try telling me that this ain't the greatest country. He... Oh. Fucking hell. I mean, maybe that's best. I don't know if you guys can see the subtitles, to be honest, but it says what happened to the people. Oh, okay. I'm just happy the wife and kids are safe. Oh, just working a simple job. Okay. Okay, I have to say, I think it was a really interesting movie. Honestly, when I started watching it, like before I put it on, I really didn't know I was gonna watch a movie that was based on a true story. Then I realized um, that a lot of people in this movie were real people. Then I, um, yeah, I looked it up, but Barry Seal is also a real person, which I thought I just had to be sure. Thank you. But I think that's really interesting to like get to know more about a thing you weren't aware of getting to know more about right now. I don't know if that sentence made sense. I think especially the way this movie was edited and just the way the shots were made, also with the maps in between, it was just a very fun way of watching it. And even though it is based on a true story, which makes it pretty serious i think they really made a sort of a comedy out of it like some comedic relief and i think they did that very well what was very interesting for me to see was um how at first he was just a regular pilot then he starts getting into that business but to me just the way his especially his wife how she just keeps supporting him and keeps being like yeah, you're sure, we trust you. And then at one point, it had a pretty nice life. They had a lot of money. Like at some point I was like, what do you even need all this money for? But business was booming. And then in the end, yeah, honestly, when they gave him the task of taking those pictures, I was like, this is, this is dangerous. Like even if they catch the guys, they're still gonna find a way to kill you because they're not gonna forgive you for doing that. Um, yeah, and in the end they killed him. It was like, he was just moving from motel to motel and I was like, okay, for how long does he have to keep doing this then? This is not really a fun way of living. So he either has to get killed now or something has to happen which like guarantees his safety. But I really wasn't sure uh, how they were going to do that. So yeah. He died. So yeah, overall, very interesting movie, especially because it's based on a true story. I mean, when they say based on a true story, it's mostly like loosely based on a true story. But uh, I mean, most of the characters were real. And yeah, to me, it was just, it was very interesting. Honestly, a movie I would not watch out of myself as well. Um, it's really not my genre. But um, yeah, once I'm watching them, I'm like, okay, this is pretty interesting. So... Yeah, I honestly had fun watching it. I don't think I have a lot more to say, uh, except for if you want to see my full reaction, that's available on my Patreon. And it is also possible for you to request your own movie for me to react to. Uh, it's all on my Patreon, so check it out if you're interested. Um, yeah, and then that was my reaction. I hope you liked it. Did you? Then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next time. Bye!